This is Outson Stadium in Eugene, Oregon, which becomes the site for this football contest. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Here's an opening. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. He wants it all going long. It's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. From their own 16-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. He laterals the ball. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. He's into the open field. He's at the 20, and down he goes at about the 19-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. And he's tackled at the four. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They come out in a goal line set. Another run brought down at the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Yeah. 
Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Colorado! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 84-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Colorado's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Slings it. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Six yards there on the option keeper. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 48. First and 10, ball on their own 48. Got hit and still completed it. Franklin picks up about four yards with a catch. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Nice run up the middle. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Buffaloes. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He might not be able to get the pass off. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Gets to about the 34-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Out of bounds around the 31-yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 
Seven three Colorado. Lewis has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado is up four. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 23. Tackled after a decent pickup. The Buffaloes had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. They'll run it. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. And they make the stop at the 45. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Tackle at the 41. So they complete that for about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. Colorado is up by four. They'll bring him down right around the 18-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want them. Colorado's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's on the run. It's on the ground. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's scrambling, and down he goes. Right around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five-wide receiver set. And he hauls that one in. And he hits him hard at the 35. Yeah. 
scrambling around. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Oregon will take their second time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He rifles it to the left. Completes. It's the junior brought down at the 20-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 12-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. Lewis has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at about the 49. He's at the 30, catches it, and he's taken down at the 25. Fires it out. Tackle made at about the 13. The Buffaloes, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. He gets it up, and it is good. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Well, we say it here all the time. It's not always about the X's and the O's. It can be about the Jimmy's and, and the, the Joe's. Joe's. But I think Jimmy and Joe appear to be pretty evenly matched here. And this might not necessarily be about who has the better athlete, who has the more explosive player. This might come down to which guy maneuvering those X's and O's does so the most wisely. Well, who's telling Jimmy and Joe where to line up? <laughs> they got to they gotta know where they're <laughs> supposed to go. So I, I think it is important. And the coaches, sometimes you got to break character. You know, sometimes you know you're a predominantly run team, and that's what you do, and you're going to line up and pound it. But sometimes you face a good defense that's playing really well that they're not going to allow you to do that. And sometimes you got to get a little bit out of character. And I think which offense or which defense can take a few chances and get rewarded for those chances. Come up on the plus side of it. Create a big turnover. Set your offense up on the right side of the field. How about you dial up one of those trick plays you got in your bag that you haven't used in a while that you think might could, might could work and might could maybe bust open this game and give you a little bit of separation? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They come out in a five-wide set. 
Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. It's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack. He's out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Hudson, the return man. Looking for the corner. He'll take it from the 18. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Over the middle to his tailback. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Makes it out to about the 46. They'll get him in the backfield. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Slides down. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Under pressure. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. run to the left there
third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run there as they work the outside. He decided to keep it himself this time on the option, and he managed to get upfield and pick up the first down. And that one's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on it. Second and 10, ball on the 45. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled in the open field. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Tackle at the 21. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's tackled at the 17. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17. He goes out of bounds at the 12. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. This is the 11th play of this drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, this one's all even at 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, Colorado! That was a big, big score, and it makes it a one-possession game, but we still got a lot of football left. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Quick pass, and down he goes around the 29-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down.
There he goes. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's level at the 31. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. From the 31-yard line, second down. Big opening. He makes his way to about the 22. The running back takes the pitch on the option, and that'll be a pickup of about nine. And this play is number eight on the drive. down in the open field a great stop there and that's going to bring up fourth down before you start to blame the offensive line really give this defense some credit they just did a great job just under three to go in regulation pass incomplete trying to get it to his receiver and so now the ball's turned over on downs Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's out to the 30. He gets to about the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 45. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Oregon will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. He makes it out to midfield, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Again with a carry. Nice run to the outside. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Oregon's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Under a minute left. 
He's going to air it long. It's intercepted, and that should do it. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. He'll go down to one knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 17-10, Colorado. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football.